And we are here with the final games of season one for Nebraska Dynasty. Today, these are the toughest games as well. We are currently seven and two. And in today's video, we will be taking on Michigan State first game, Penn State second game, and then Iowa ending off the season. Now in the next episode though, we are gonna be trying something out. We have a 12 team playoff mod. And also we have a lot of things like the transfer portal, stuff like that, that should happen and should make the off season really, really interesting in the next episode. Now for a recruiting board update, we kind of got everyone that we wanted. We got a new kicker. We got a pretty good safety in Danny Diggs. We got a good guard in Aaron Fine. And really now we're just getting filler players that are gonna develop over the years. Uh, a lot of our skill positions, we kind of already have on lockdown and Matt Savoy is the one that we really really want to come to uh, Nebraska that we can develop with that 92 speed should be a really really good player for us and also we are in the lead on Sean Harris as well so we should have a crazy safety duo in the future of Sean Harris and Danny Diggs and finally right here first stats update Jeff Sims leading the nation in passing rushing we still can't rush the ball new team still can't run receiving wise trey palmer by far and away the best receiver in the nation the best player on our team tackle leaders heinrich and feast both tied for number one colton feast by the way absolute game record eight sacks as well having a crazy season knew some top 200 i guess in interceptions and we have a ranked kicker as well so let's go man but but with that being said let's put michigan state on upset watch let's ruin their season by the way because like i said it's a 12 team college football playoff so what that means is michigan michigan state can't afford to lose this game they are in position to make the playoffs but let's knock them off and make sure they can't make it and we're actually both seven and two as well. So I guess Michigan State must have lost to some pretty good ranked opponents right here. We're going to try to get the game going or ground game going with Anthony Grant and kind of what I expected. Michigan State is pressing Trey Palmer right here. They let him go and we're trying to hit our tight. It. Wow. I mean, I, I don't know. I thought we had our tight end open. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. That's just not where I wanted the ball. Boys, we need a goal line stand. We need a goal line stand, bad man, or this game could get ugly. They go with the handoff, and he just walks into the end zone. Look, offense has to wake up. I have to wake up. Uh, we're looking for Trey Palmer right here on this curl route. And Trey Palmer, you know, when, you know, when we need offense going, just throw it to Trey Palmer. And he has officially broken the school reception record that was held by a running back. Marlon Lucky. Reception record in a season for uh, Nebraska. Wow. Did not know that. Trey Palmer, though, new name in the record book. We're going to hand it off to Anthony Grant right here, who, again, we just we just can't run the ball, man. We just can't do it. Third and eight right here. They are going to leave our triangle receiver open. Alante Brown gets the big catch, man. Pressure in our face. I would love for Trey Palmer to be able to beat this press right here. Can he do it? Can he do it? I'm lobbing this thing up. Trey Palmer is wide open and Trey Palmer is going to get our first touchdown of the day. I don't know why they keep trying to leave him one on one. That is the dumbest thing you can do. Got Michigan State in a pretty bad spot right here. Third and 15. They throw it. It's fourth and manageable. Are they putting the nuts on the table? Are they going for it? Or are they going to punt? And Michigan State is going to punt the ball. This might come back to bite us, but I'm officially just completely abandoning uh, the run game right here. And Trey Palmer again got pressed. We're lobbing this thing up to Trey Palmer again. He dropped it. Trey Palmer dropped it. I mean, out of all people on this team to drop a pass. Trey Palmer, three rushes for three yards, man. That's just not going to get it done running the football. And right here, we're going to put uh, Trey Palmer on a curl. And do we have him? We do have him. Trey Palmer catch the ball. That's going to be that's going to be a big thing next year, though. Who is going to take over the Trey Palmer role? Who's going to do it? I don't know if anyone can because this dude is a beast. But Anthony Grant with his best run of the day and it's only three yards. Second and seven right here going with the little play action pass. And we're trying to hit Volkolek and he just got like his route ran for him. I trusted our man. Shouldn't have done it. Should have waited. Should have seen. Tried to just throw it to him, and we throw a bad interception. So Michigan State ends up getting seven of their own. Like I was saying, though, man, offense, we just got to clean things up, right? We played a really sloppy first half so far, and Trey Palmer open underneath. Good throw under pressure, Jeff Sims, who honestly having a little bit of a rough day. I think the first throw, look, as much as I want to blame myself for the first throw, I'm blaming Jeff Sims. I can't lie. I'm blaming Jeff Sims right here. Second and two trying to roll out right here. And we have nothing open. We have nothing open. Jeff Sims going to have to take off, move the chains. I would love for Volkolek to uh, get open right here. 
Is he gonna get open? We have Alante Brown open. Throw it, laser from Jeff Sims. Faced with the third and 10 right here, we gotta go to Trey Palmer. Jeff Sims doesn't let us down, but Trey Palmer doesn't get the first down. He ran backwards. He ran away from the first down. No hesitation right here. We gotta go. I think we trust Trey Palmer or Anthony Grant right here. Let's see. Trey Palmer for the first down gets it and he's gonna put a move and he's gonna be down to the 15. Palmer already 100 yards on the day. We have our triangle receiver right there. And that is Martin in the end zone. Oliver Martin. I swear this dude sneaks his way onto the field and he just makes a play every game. He's someone that I, I don't know if he is a senior. I doubt he is a senior, but someone to look out for next year. Imagine Oliver Martin who just like kind of just made plays this entire year takes over the Trey Palmer role. I wasn't I wasn't even paying attention, but the defense got a turnover on the kickoff. So we're back here on offense. Let's go. I, I usually just send the special team, send the kickoff. So that's why I just didn't even notice. But we're actually here on offense and we're trying to hit our square receiver. Alante Brown. Alante Brown has had a pretty nice season as well. Obviously, Trey Palmer gets the majority of the looks, majority of the touches, but not a bad season from him at all. Not a bad season at all. We have Anthony Grant open, but we almost throw it right to a defensive lineman. Faced with the third and two this time, we go with the play action call. We're trying to hit our X receiver, Washington, and Washington's going to be in the end zone. What a throw from Jeff Sims. Marcus Washington gets his first touchdown of the day, and Jeff Sims has already overcome those two interceptions. Got Michigan State into another favorable down right here. We got him to a third and 10. Come on, defense. Get off the field. They go with the QB draw, and we land a big hit, and that's going to be a fourth down. They should be putting us that rock. I'm looking deep to Trey Palmer. I'm throwing this to Trey Palmer no matter what. I'm throwing it deep to Trey Palmer no matter what, no matter what. And we almost saw an interception. All right, now we're faced with a third and 10 right here on offense. Uh, Michigan State getting a little bit cagey on defense. I've decided right here, I'm throwing this to Trey Palmer no matter what. Whatever happens, happens. I'm throwing it to Trey Palmer, don't care. And we get sacked. So we're gonna go ahead and punt the ball back to Michigan State. So we are going into halftime with a seven point lead first Michigan State. Did not expect that. Defense needs a huge stop this time. We are selling out for the run and they go with the run and broussard do they have two star running backs so michigan state runs the ball a lot and he's just gonna walk into the end zone we can't stop their ground attack the offense needs a drive right here man first and 10 going with the play action call we're hitting our r1 tight end and wow wow no not like that man not like that can we get a booth review the dude on Trey Palmer. So Trey Palmer got pressed a little bit, right? Are we getting a booth review? No booth review. That is actually insane. I think the ball hit the ground and it doesn't matter now. It's their ball. It is their ball now. We're going to get out there. The quarterback right here, though. This will be a huge goal line stand right here. Can we make them just take three points? They're going with the heavy formation. We have not been able to stop this all day long. They go up the middle and that's going to be a fourth and inches. All right. Me personally. I go for this. I don't fault them for going for it at all, man. Defense right here. We're selling out for the run. Can we make a play? They go with the pass. They go with the pass. And he breaks the sack. He doesn't break the second one, though. And the defense gets a huge stop on Michigan State. Near our own end zone. The offense needs a drive right here. And we're going to try to fit it in there to Trey Palmer, who is Mr. Reliable. Now, we are in the ones in a really bad spot right here. Third and nine. I'm trusting Trey Palmer, you know? You got to trust your playmakers to win you games. We're trusting them. We're trying to fit it in right there. And I don't know if the DB swatted it or Trey Palmer dropped it, but got to live with the results, man. The defense has done more than enough to win this football game. The offense, three turnovers, just really not good, man. Really not good. We got them to another third down right here. Third and six. Let's see what they do. They go with the run. They go with the run. And Bruce, did he get that? Oh my God. How did he get that? I would love for my running back to do that. So we got to sell out for the run again. Defense needs another goal line stand. We've asked so much of them today. Can they do it one more time? Can they get off the field? And the answer is going to be Colin. Wow. Collins just stiff armed our guy. Offense. We got to answer. And if we score a touchdown, I'm going for two. We came here to win. We don't care about overtime. We came here to win and knock off Michigan State. Syracuse beat Florida State 38 to 7. Um, hello? Oh, Anthony Grant. Anthony Grant on the kickoff. Anthony Grant on the kickoff. Wow. 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 What a play. Anthony Grant 
can't get anything going on the ground game but he did get the longest kickoff return in NCAA history. What a play from Anthony Grant. And since there's two minutes left, going for two really won't help us. I was thinking there would be like 30 seconds left, but Michigan State now gets the last drive of the football game, and let's see if we can stop them. A minute left in the game. They are driving down to the 20 right here. We got to make a play. We got to make a play. We got to make a play. Defensive line. He throws a crossbody. It's an interception. It's an interception. What a bad throw from Peyton Thorne. I mean, what are we even doing? Why even throw that? You're in field goal range. If we want to try to end this in regulation, we got to get some big plays. We're going to look to drop back right here. Second and five looking, firing, hits our tight end Volkolek, and we're going to start to hurry up right here. We're going to go with a vertical call right here. Let's see. We're going to hut out hike. Let's see what we got, boys. Let's see what we got. I'm trying to fit it in there to Trey Palmer. So Michigan State with a big in the game drive right here. They are uh, drive. What the what the f just happened? Um, hello. And let's see. He oh, we bounce him back, and he actually scored a touchdown. That actually wasn't smart. You want to go down and just get our timeouts out. We're going to Trey Palmer no matter what. Look, we either lose with them or we lose. Uh, what's it called? Or, yeah, just throw it and he drops another ball. I think that at least gives us a chance. Um, now it's over. It is officially over. I don't know what happened to Trey Palmer today. Uh, can't catch a cold, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. We have Volkolek right there in the middle of the field and Volkolek. It's over. It's over. Oh, if Trey Palmer catches that ball, man. We have a chance, but just four interceptions from Jeff Sims. Wow, we had it. We had the game one, two. Definitely some things we just got to clean up. Uh, we got Penn State next week, and if we play like how we did first Michigan State, it might get a little bit ugly. I honestly think Penn State has a better team. I don't even know how Michigan State is ranked in the top 10. They probably are moving up right there, too. We could have really ended their season. Penn State is now unranked, and they are six and four. Let's go to Penn State, and let's just get the win. I was going to say it's an upset but they're not ranked we're not ranked we honestly have the better record maybe we're the favorites oh no we are playing penn state in the snow so whoever can run the football this game should be at a major advantage and guess what we can't do we can't run the football anthony grant is him um sim the opening kickoff returns at 102 yards for a touchdown i mean we'll take it i mean <laughs> didn't think that was gonna happen but hey i'll take it and after three straight run calls we got penn state to a fourth and 13 so they're gonna be punting us the ball right here and maybe i just shouldn't send any more special teams because our return men are dangerous trey palmer this time let's just not play offense this game let's just only score special team touchdowns so we did open the game up to a 7-0 lead and the defense got to stop um i would love to run this toss to the left somehow yeah yeah let's do it anthony grant right here on the edge get the edge uh it just seems like he's missing that next gear you know what i'm saying better than how it usually goes right uh we're looking to pass the ball right here i want to see how difficult it's going to be in the snow and trey palmer right here can you get open we're just trying to fit that in there what a dart what a laser Base with the second and 10 this time. We're going to hit our underneath route, Alante Brown. We saw it late, but Alante Brown was looking a little shifty. Third and seven this time. And right here, this looks like a bad play, but we're going to hut out hike it anyway. And Jeff Sims. Nope. It just made our <gasps> Jeff Sims. No, get the no, 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 no. I tried to make a hero play with him. I tried to make a hero play and it ends up costing us. I just thought, man, he broke those two tackles. He was going to break the third and get out, but he ends up fumbling. Penn State's offense right now has been really, really bad. Um, We are able to stop their running attack a little bit, and I'm surprised because Singleton is a beast. Now, they're faced with the third and nine right here. They go with the draw call, and we stop it. Honestly, it's probably our offensive line's fault, but still, we're going with uh, trying to look for Trey Palmer right here. He's not going to be open. He's not going to be open. We were going to have our tight end for a touchdown. We take a sack. Got to punt the rock. So far, relatively like boring game, I guess. Uh, Three and out, three and out, punt, 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 besides one kickoff return. And we got him to another third down right here. They go with another draw call. I mean, don't let him get it. Wow. Another third and seven. Let's see if they do another draw call right here. And they are not. Wait, they did. Every third down so far, they have ran a draw. What? I, I can't make this up. I actually can't make it up. I don't know why they're doing that, but every single time they've ran a draw. Baseball's a second and 10 this time, looking for Trey Palmer. 
and we finally got another first down minute left in the first half right here we are looking for a deep shot we're looking for a deep shot we have circle open marcus washington tries to put a move on him he's gonna be down to the 25 i don't even know if i trust my kicker from here i really don't and by by that i mean i don't trust myself from here i might just throw it to trey palmer deep i might oh no oh no oh i felt the i felt the pressure and jeff sims with another fumble and if they go with another draw call right here i'm just done i'm actually so done if they go with another draw call okay they actually pass the ball we'll let him have the underneath right there and we watch everything and th is that another colton fee sack that has to be nine or ten on the year for a, another one and we get the ball back when it's a third and six there's one man we go to and that man is trey palmer trying to hit it on the break oh he got killed he got killed. I love the timing of the throw. I like the window, but he just got killed. Penn State is now having their first like real drive of the game, and they have a first and goal. Uh, again, defense, another game where they have done everything we want them to do, and it's been an offensive thing. Sean Clifford just walks into the end zone, though. Um, prayer circles, we get another kickoff return because we can't move on offense. Trey Palmer right here rolling out, and we just throw an interception to Joey Porter Jr., uh, I thought we had Trey Palmer. That's an NFL on NFL matchup, and that might just be game over. I thought we had him. I really thought we had him. I still would throw that 100 times out of 100. One more play from the defense. It looks like they're going with the run call. I think they go with an outside run to the right, and they actually went with the pass. We got to be on everything. Clifford throws. It's a dropped interception. It's a dropped interception. Oh, that's game changing. That is so game changing. First and 10 right here. Got to look. Got to look. There is just everyone's in a cage. Jeff Sims is also cold, so we have a lot of issues right now. We have a lot of issues hitting our tight end right there. Get out of bounds. Really want to hit Trey Palmer on this route right here, and we won't have him. We just do another interception. Uh, just pressure in our face. That's the worst offensive game I think I've ever played. That's the worst offensive game. And the defense actually gets a three and out, so we have another chance. We have one final chance right here to be great and there's there's not really too much time left there's not really too much time left trey palmer get out of bounds all we need is three points by the way and we will be good um looking for trey palmer again right here they're going with the zone coverage call we're gonna have our tight end open on the sideline great catch third and ten this time we gotta have something on the sideline right here and we got sacked oh man 51 right there with the sack and there's really only one person we can trust there's really only one person we can trust and that's gonna be trey palmer we win the game or we lose the game on Trey Palmer right here. That's what I'm saying. Let's see. We actually aren't going to have it open. Oh, Trey Palmer got bagged. And their pass rush got after us too. Oh, we lost. We lost to Penn State. We didn't score a singular point on offense. And worst offensive game ever. We couldn't move in the snow. Their defensive line was just after us all game. Two games back to back where I think we just, we should win. We should have won both of those. And... We just couldn't move in the snow. And I was actually three and eight. Kind of interesting. And we actually don't have that much worse of a team than them. We're actually pretty, we're, we're pretty even. Lost a heartbreaker to Penn State and also Michigan State. So let's end up the season on a high note. All right, let's see if we are able to run the ball first, Iowa. And we actually got a decent game. Let's see. Overturned. And the ruling on the field, play reverse. Let's play ball. All right, Anthony Grant. My bad. My bad, Anthony Grant. My bad. And we're dropping back, looking, looking for Trey Palmer. Hits him. And Trey Palmer going to get out of bounds. Good gain, 14. And the ball off to Anthony Grant again. Anthony Grant gets the sideline. Ooh, put a move. Okay, this is an Anthony Grant game. Let's go. Trey Palmer's been balling all season, man. Look, it's time someone else got a little bit of love. And Anthony Grant so far is well on his way to 100 yards on the game. And we have Volkolek right there, wide open. Going to get down to the 15. Looking for Trey Palmer right here. We're not going to have him. We're not going to have him. Um, got to make a play with the legs, potentially. Got to make a play with the legs. We're going to try to fit it in there to Trey Palmer. Wow. I can't even believe what just happened. I actually can't believe that was a touchdown. We got him to a third and six right here. Uh, let's see if we can get off the field, boys. Get off the field. Get off the field. Get off the field. He goes deep on the sideline. That's a dot, man. Right here. I think they go with the pass 100%. Let's see. 
They're actually going to hand the ball off again. And Johnson not going to get into the end zone. Does Iowa go for it or are they content taking three? And they're going to take their three points right here. Looking Trey Palmer's open. We're going to hit Trey Palmer. Try to make a move. Second and 10 right here. Trey Palmer. You can't man him up. You just can't man him up. He's not dropping passes today either. I might just throw it to Trey Palmer right here. He's not going to be open, but our triangle receiver is Alante Brown. He's just feasting in the slot, man. Run a play action play. And we're gonna have our square receiver. No, Campbell made a play. Oh, uh, that's not really where I wanted the ball. That's tough. I thought we had it open. Jack Campbell, who's playing safety for them? Okay. So I sent one play of half, right? Just one play at the end of half. Like, I mean, the defense got like a three and out, got the ball back. There was five seconds left. I was like, okay, we're just going in half. Anthony Grant, 85 yard rushing touchdown. So yes, today is an Anthony Grant game. I swear I try to send like the most like not important things and guess what they end up being the most important i might just throw it to trey palmer no matter what i might just do it yeah i'm doing it trey palmer no matter what can we get the ball there Whew. what a throw and jeff sims actually got his name in the record book as well passing yards for a season beats joe Gaines' record i think chuba purdy will end up breaking that for us as well jeff sims could have done even more this season is that crazy to say i don't really feel like it is and right here we're looking to roll out to the left we're going to have our tight end open. Can we throw this on the run? What a throw from Jeff Sims. And guess what? You can't man. Okay. They were not in man the man right here. We're looking to roll out. Looking, looking. Goes to Anthony Grant. He catches the football and he fumbles. No boots review, but Iowa ends up going three and out. And Anthony Grant actually got hurt on that play. So his uh, big game is now going to be Gabe Irvin's big game. And he is a little bit more. He's more of a break tackle back, right? I don't want to say he's slow, but he's more like he'll break the first tackle. That's how he'll get a ton of yards. And, you know, it's a little bit different style than what I've used before. Right here, second and ten. Looking to roll out right here in the pass game. And we are going to go ahead and hit Alante Brown right there. What a throw from Jeff Sims. And now we're approaching a point where we can really like start to chew the clock a little bit versus Iowa. And Gabe Irvin may just win us this football game, man. We're going to run the ball first and second down. Try to get it on third down. Third and one. That's the dream scenario. Now we just are one yard away from ending this football game. And Gabe Irvin, we trust right here. We're going up the middle. We are not running the ball to the outside pounding the rock right here because we've been able to do it all day and gabe irvin wins us this damn football game and that's gonna do it first iowa man we get the w 14 to 3 and we were actually able to run the ball this game so we're gonna finish the season eight and four iowa finishes it three and nine it's a little bit rough a little bit rough for them but uh ggs to iowa and yeah definitely a different style than what we're used to man definitely sped up the game because the clock was constantly ticking defense did their thing honestly the defense as a whole man this entire season really like i don't want to say it surprised me but they played really really good if we're just a little bit better on offense we are good to go next season and wayne to lapapa from washington wins the heisman um blake corman third okay so basically five running backs in total and we actually did get a bowl game we will play that in the next episode. Trey Palmer won the Blitnikoff Award. Travis Volkolek won the John Mackey Award. And those were the two awards we got, man. So next episode, we will play our bowl game. And we got a jam-packed off-season episode featuring a new college football playoff and a new off-season mod that should result in a lot more transfers and more training results. So yeah, y'all, I hope y'all did enjoy this video. If you're excited for the next episode and the off season, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now, if you guys want even more content, check the links in the description. I have some other YouTube channels, one for Madden Ultimate Team, one for Madden CFM that are kind of like videos like this. Now, if you guys just want to see me play live, check the links in the description. I've been streaming over a lot on Twitch. I have been playing Madden, but I would still love to see y'all over there. But other than that, though, y'all, has been your boy Dill, and I'm out. Peace, y'all.